Fusion 360 offers a wide selection of post processors for three axis machines. But what about when you add on a fourth or fifth axis? Some additional steps were required to enable the fourth or fifth axes for that post. We'll take a look at the simple edits needed to enable those axes, and I'll link relevant resources in the description. Most post processors from the online post library are set up for four and five axis code, but these axes are disabled by default. In some cases, you can enable them using the post properties that appears on the right side of the NC programs window when you select a post. If this is the case, just check the appropriate boxes and post away. In some cases, the axes need to be enabled by editing the post itself. To enable them, select the post and click the pencil icon to open the configuration file. Note that we recommend Microsoft Visual Studio Code as your default post editor. There's a link in the description for a free download, and to ensure posts open directly in Visual Studio Code, you'll set it as the default post editor by going to Preferences, General, Manufacturer, and selecting the Application or Executable under External Editor. Then you'll go to the On Open function. I'm using Control or Command F to search for it, and change the If False to If True for the machine configuration variables. Next, you can start to customize the ABC axes to your needs. To exclude an axis, use two forward slashes to comment out that line. It'll change colors to show that it's commented, and for me, it turns green. To include an axis, make sure it's not commented out and the colors are showing. Descriptions of each parameter are included in the description. Adjust the machine configuration to match whichever variables are active. If your machine only has a B-axis, you'll want to make sure your machine configuration includes the B-axis variable and that the B-axis variable is the only one that's uncommented. If your machine has A and C axes, you'll want to make sure your machine configuration includes the A and C axis variables, and those variables are uncommented. Lastly, adjust Optimize Machine Angles too, depending on whether or not your machine has TCP capabilities for 5-axis simultaneous machining. If this is set to 0, TCP is enabled, and if it's set to 1, TCP is disabled. If you edited one of the system posts like I did, make sure to save as in a different folder to prevent overwriting the original post, and make sure your edited post isn't overwritten when Fusion 360 updates. These are the main steps to enabling 4 or 5 axis capabilities in the post processors from the online post library. For more assistance, check out the Fusion 360 post processor forum. To request a post you think might be missing, head to the post processor idea station. Check out the links in the description for a written version of these steps, and for more information on editing posts in general, check out the post processor training guide, also linked below. Share this video and give it a like if it was helpful. Thanks for watching.